Her subconscious mind accepted these negative auto-suggestions as a request and proceeded to manifest them and bring them into her experience. The cause was an involuntary auto-suggestion, that is, silent fear. Thoughts emotionalized and subjectived. She overcame it by the following technique, three times a day she isolated herself in a room. She sat down comfortably in an armchair, relaxed her body, and closed her eyes. She stilled her mind and body as best she could. Physical inertia favors mental passivity and renders the mind more receptive to suggestion. She counteracted the fear suggestion by saying to herself, I sing beautifully. I am poised, serene, confident, and calm. She repeated this statement slowly, quietly, and with feel in from five to ten times at each sitting. She had three such sittings every day and one immediately prior to sleep. At the end of a week she was completely poised and confident. When the invitation to audition came, she gave a remarkable, wonderful audition. How she restored her memory. A woman, aged 75, was in the habit of saying to herself, I am losing my memory. She reversed the procedure and practiced. Induced auto-suggestion several times a day as follows, my memory. From today on is improving in every department. I shall always remember whatever I need to know at every moment of time and point of space. The impressions received will be clearer and more definite. I shall retain them automatically and with ease. Whatever I wish to recall will immediately present itself in the correct form in my mind. I am improving rapidly every day, and very soon my memory will be better than it has ever been before. At the end of three weeks, her memory was back to normal, and she was delighted. How he overcame a nasty temper. Many men who complained of irritability and bad temper proved to be very susceptible to auto-suggestion and obtain marvelous results. By using the following statements three or four times a day, morning, 32, noon, and at night prior to sleep for about a month. Henceforth, I shall grow more good-humored. Joy, happiness, and cheerfulness are now becoming my normal states of mind. Every day I am becoming more and more lovable and understanding. I am now becoming the center of cheer and goodwill to all those about me, infecting them with good humor. This happy, joyous, and cheerful mood is now becoming my normal, natural state of mind. I am grateful. The constructive and destructive power of suggestion. Some illustrations and comments on heterosuggestion. Heterosuggestion means suggestions from another person. In all ages the power of suggestion has played a part in the life and thought of man in every period of time and in each country of the earth. In many parts of the world it is the controlling power in religion. Suggestion may be used to discipline and control ourselves, but it can also be used to take control and command over others who do not know the laws of mind. In its constructive form it is wonderful and magnificent. In its negative aspects it is one of the most destructive of all the response patterns of the mind, resulting in patterns of misery, failure, suffering, sickness, and disaster. Have you accepted any of these? From infancy on the majority of us have been given many negative suggestions. Not knowing how to thwart them, we unconsciously accepted them. Here are some of the negative suggestions, you can't, you'll never amount to anything, you mustn't, you'll fail, you haven't got a chance, you're all wrong, it's no use, it's not what you know, but who you know, the world is going to, the dogs, what's the use, nobody cares. It's no use trying so hard. You're too old now. Things are getting worse and worse. Life is an endless grind. Love is for the birds. You just can't win. 
Pretty soon you'll be bankrupt. Watch out, you'll get the virus. 33. You can't trust a soul, etc. Unless, as an adult, you use constructive auto-suggestion, which is a reconditioning therapy, the impressions made on you in the past can cause behavior patterns that cause failure in your personal and social life. Auto-suggestion is a means releasing you from the mass of negative verbal conditioning that might otherwise distort your life pattern. Making the development of good habits difficult. You can counteract negative suggestions. Pick up the paper any day, and you can read dozens of items that could sow the seeds of futility, fear, worry, anxiety, and impending doom. If accepted by you, these thoughts of fear could cause you to lose the will for life. Knowing that you can reject all these negative suggestions by giving your subconscious mind constructive auto-suggestions, you counteract all these destructive ideas. Check regularly on the negative suggestions that people make to you. You do not have to be influenced by destructive heterosuggestion. All of us have suffered from it in our childhood and in our teens. If you look back, you can easily recall how parents, friends, relatives, teachers, and associates contributed in a campaign of negative suggestions. Study the things said to you, and you will discover much of it was in the form of propaganda. The purpose of much of what was said was to control you or instill fear into you. This heterosuggestion process goes on in every home, office, factory, and club. You will find that many of these suggestions are for the purpose of making you think, feel, and act, as others want you to, and in ways that are to their advantage. How Suggestion Killed a Man Here is an illustration of heterosuggestion, a relative of mine went to a crystal gazer in India who told him that he had a bad heart and predicted that he would die at the next new moon. He began to tell all members of his family about this prediction, and he arranged his will. 34. This powerful suggestion entered into his subconscious mind because he accepted it completely. My relative also told me that this crystal gazer was believed to have some strange occult powers and he could do harm or good to a person. He died as predicted not knowing that he was the cause of his own death. I suppose many of us have heard similar stupid, ridiculous, superstitious stories. Let us look at what happened in the light of our knowledge of the way the subconscious mind works. Whatever the conscious reasoning mind of man believes, the subconscious mind will accept and act upon. My relative was happy, healthy, vigorous, and robust. When he went to see the fortune teller, she gave him a very negative suggestion, which he accepted. He became terrified, and constantly dwelt upon the fact that he was going to die at the next new moon. He proceeded to tell everyone about it, and he prepared for the end. The activity took place in his own mind and his own thought was the cause. He brought about his own so-called death, or rather destruction of the physical body, by his fear and expectation of the end. The woman who predicted his death had no more power than the stones and sticks in the field. Her suggestion had no power to create or bring about the end she suggested. If he had known the laws of his mind, he would have completely rejected the negative suggestion and refused to give her words any attention, knowing in his heart that he was governed and controlled by his own thought and feeling. Like tin arrows aimed at a battleship, her prophecy could have been completely neutralized and dissipated without hurting him. The suggestions of others in themselves have absolutely no power whatever over you accept the power that you give them through your own thoughts. You have to give your mental consent, you have to entertain the thought. Then, it becomes your thought, and you do the thinking. Remember, 
You have the capacity to choose. Choose life. Choose love. Choose health.